In this video, I'm going to show you how to create one of these big laptop promotional boxes on your website. They can just be one of many sections that talks about your product. If you've seen them before, I want you to know that there's nothing special going on here. It's just an image and some text. But if you have an ebook or a online course or a product, you can use one of these laptops right here and replace the image with your own. And that way people can feel like they're trying out your product right when they see this laptop, just like we feel like we're trying out Elementor and can finally build beautiful pages quickly and easily. So I'll show you how to get this little laptop image and how to make this section. Let's do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our website in a new tab. And then we're just going to go to the contact page. So we're going to use a page that's already made and we're just going to add a section beneath our transparent header. So let's click edit with Elementor. And of course you can watch our previous videos for how to set up this entire background image, the transparent header, and so on and so forth. But for now we just want to scroll down and click add new section. We're going to give ourselves two columns. And in those two columns we're going to put uh, some text and then an image on the right. So we'll keep it simple. We can start with the image on the right. Let's drag in the image first. Just plop it in there and then we're going to click choose your image. And we can see I already have this picture of the big laptop which is sort of cut off perfectly. So how did we get this image? Well we added the hero UI kit. So to get that for yourself you just click add template in any section or page. Ideally one you don't want to use because it creates a lot of content for you. Scroll all the way down in the free version of Elementor. And at the bottom you're going to grab the hero UI kit. Just click it and insert it into ideally a demo page you're not going to use. And that will give you the large laptop image as we can see if we didn't miss it already. There's the phone which we like. And there's the laptop. Perfect. So that'll give you the image. So once you install that you can just click choose your image, choose the laptop, insert media. Great. Now all we need to do is align it to the right and it should go to the far side of the page. But there's a couple settings we want to put on this section to make it look good. Click on the settings and we can click on content width, make it full width. We can click columns gap and make it no gap. Then we're going to click height and make it fit to screen. And then we're going to keep the column position middle. Content position can also go in the middle. And that should be just how we want it. Perfect. Now we just need a heading, a text editor, and a button in our left column over here. So we can start by dragging in the heading. And then we'll go back to the content by clicking the nine boxes and grab the text editor. Alright, we're going to try to put that right beneath it. There you go. And nine boxes and button. Perfect. So how do we make it look good? Well, we need to add the right heading here. And in the case of Elementor, they just say, try it yourself. All right, very encouraging and motivational. Now for our text editor, I'm not too concerned with what that says, that's up to you. But let's go ahead and style our button in the meanwhile. So let's click it. We're gonna give an icon, which is gonna be the angle right. Perfect, let's give it a little spacing. How about 14 and we're gonna put it after the text. We're gonna make it say, get started, because click here is just a little bit too much of an instruction and it's kind of weak you know everyone knows they're gonna click here but you might as well tell them something better like get started on something now let's click on our header all right and you can change the HTML tag if you want or anything like that but I like doing all my editing in style keep it simple click typography we can bring the size up to something like 60 we're gonna change the font family to pop-ins surely because Elementor loves pop-ins and we're gonna change that color of course to a nice black all right, now for our text editor, just click on it. Same thing, do our editing in style. That's the way they intended on us doing it, I think. Click typography. We're going to go with font family Laura because Elementor also loves Laura. Now just bring that font size up to something a little more legible, like 19 between 15 and 20 is good. And we can also increase that line height just a little bit more. Beautiful. I think it would look good if the entire section had some padding on it so things were condensed a little bit. Let's click on the section and click advanced and let's give it padding of let's say 30. Unlink it because we only want it on the top and the bottom. There we go. And now let's just update it and let's see what we made. Alright, so I'm going to open the site in a new tab. 
and we're going to check out the contact page and see how it looks. So we scroll down, not bad. So the obvious difference we can see here is that the content is not full width and this laptop looks terrible because it's chopped off here. So that solution should be pretty easy. Let's go back to our editor, click on the pancakes, exit to dashboard. And you might have guessed it, we're going to make our content layout instead of full width, 100% full width. And that 100% full width when we update should tell the site just to go all the way to the edges of the page. So now when we refresh, we've done it. We got the laptop to the right. Only problem is our text now goes all the way to the right as well. We're going to go back to edit with Elementor. We're going to scroll down and say, hey, this column right here, why don't you give yourself a little padding too, just because you can, you deserve it. Click on advanced. We're going to give that a little padding on the right of five and on the left. Again, click unlink so you can make them all different. On the left, we just want something like 25 or so, so that it is not flush up against the left side of your screen. And update. All right, so that's a minor detail, but really will help with the user experience. People will be able to read it better. And if 25 is not enough for you, you can always increase that number to something more like 50 and just see how it looks. Just update it and refresh it. And now we can see that we're in business. We have this nice big laptop promotional section and you can replicate this again just by downloading this image to your computer go ahead and open up a photo editing software ideally for free put an image over this section and then put your own content on top of that image like your ebook your course your blog post whatever you want people to experience when they look at it on your web page all right so that's it guys i hope i made the web look a little bit easier for you when you see something fancy like this on apple.com or on the uber site home depot wherever you're browsing the web i hope you know that it's actually pretty simple to create and you can set it up yourself please make sure to like the video if you learn anything comment and hit subscribe i'm greg narayan thanks for watching